Healthcare Builder. Uh, well, today we are going to be framing around our ductwork. Uh, basically, it's just a, a smaller version of, of what we've done with the walls. We're just going to, uh, again, do, do a, a, a top and bottom plate and uh, some, some really, really short studs in between. In this case, our studs are going to be like blocks that are like six or eight inches long. And uh, we're, we're, we're going to encase the, all, all of the, uh, the ductwork, and then we'll just drywall that in for, for our room here. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, the way we're going to start out here, uh, we're, we're, we're going to put uh, a cross brace in, in the wall here to attach our, uh, our first piece of framing. We're going to make a, a frame to fit this area and cover the face of the uh, duct and then we're going to come underneath and we're going to make another frame uh, to cover the bottom of the duct and we'll attach to the bottom of our frame and then to the wall. Now I've already done my measuring and I know that I have to uh, have the bottom of the framing uh, 12 inches from, from the uh, top of the roof. Um, now, now what I've done here, I, I've marked off uh, 12 inches, that, that's, that's where the bottom of, of my uh, framing is going to come to. Um, that's where we'll be putting our, our cross brace. Um, now, to show you a quick little trick here, um, sometimes you're going, you, you need to measure stuff and you can't get your, your, your uh, uh, tape measure on uh, the, the edge of the uh, board or you can't get an accurate measurement because uh, you, you've got uh, a piece of bark in there. So what you do uh, in, in a case like that is you take the tape measure and you mark the first, uh, the first uh, place and then just take your square and go across and you can mark your second your second place, you know, because because right up there it's 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 all bark, and I can't get an accurate measurement. Because if I measure down 12 inches from that, I'm actually uh, going to come out somewhere down down here, and that's uh, that's not going to be square. So. so you just measure your piece, fit it in there, nice and tight. Make sure it's flush, and then just nail her in. Okay, now we're not done. The next thing we need to do is build our frame to go across uh, the ceiling. So you just want to grab a straight edge, and uh, just, uh, just make sure the bottom of your joists are all level. They are nice and level. And if you grab a six foot ruler, it makes our ruler. Uh, six foot level it makes life a whole lot easier as well because uh, you can check everything as you go along here and that is going to be working out hunky dory so we'll just uh, measure ourselves up some uh, some top and bottom plates and we'll uh, cut ourselves a frame. Okay, now for, before we put this up, uh, the first thing we need to do is make sure we're going to uh, clear all obstacles and uh, make sure that we can uh, set this thing in squarely. Um, we, we, we do have this elbow in the way and I've measured uh, from the front of the from the front of the stud here, uh, out to clear the elbow, I need 18 and a half inches. Uh, and then the, the uh, wall is going to, uh, well, the framing is going to be another three and a half inches thick, uh, deeper. So that uh, puts us at 22. So I've marked 22 inches here, and I've gone down to the other end uh, of uh, the framing, and I've marked 22 inches there as well. Okay, so now it comes down to actually put this uh, frame up. Now, now, normally I would uh, put the, uh, the the second plate on, but in some situations, especially when, when it's tight nailing, and you can get the other piece easy from the bottom anyway, 
uh, it's just uh, as easy to uh, half assemble the frame, uh, put it in place, and then nail the other plate up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to just take our framing, and we're just going to put it on our line. And we'll line up with our mark where it's supposed to go. Make sure we're nice and tight and square over there. Make sure things don't move on you. And just get a nail up there. <laughs> Once you got a couple nails in, you're usually safe. Go to the end. Square everything up. Just go. Good idea to only put one nail in just in case you do happen to shift a bit and you have to adjust things. So we're just going to That's it, you can send her home. And this is where it gets fun. <laughs> Okay, so this is what your uh, framing looks like once you get it in place. And now, wh when you're going across the joist, it, it's easy just to uh, nail it into place. But when you're going running with the joists, you have to come up with a little bit of a different plan. So what you need to do is, it, is attach some uh, blocking in, in between the joists. And uh, that, that, that's what I've done here. And then my next piece of framing is just going to attach to the underside of the blocking. So just continue to uh, assemble frames uh, as you need them, measure and cut whatever you need, and uh, continue to uh, put them in place. And job should go fairly quickly. Pick a spot near one end where, it's, where you can level it up. Tie a nail in it, that way it doesn't fall on your head. And then, pull out your hammer and tap it into place. And... Eventually you're going to have to get out a uh, level and make sure that it's level. 
tilting in every direction. So primarily what I'm interested in is front, front to back here. And that seems to be working out just well. So we'll find the nail in there. Check a couple other spots and then we can nail our home. Another thing you might want to remember to do while you're at it is just uh, put some blocking in between here and here, uh, between each of the studs. It just makes it easier to, to attach a drywall when you're ready for it. So anyway, just continue uh, going around the room, um, making up your framing as you go, whatever you need to uh, cover whatever. And uh, now you might notice here I've got uh, a little, little bit of an unusual contraption, just a broken hunk of wood there that's just kind of been pinned with one... Uh, one nail, that's just a temporary stop. Uh, I have to build my next section in place and that's just kind of going to be a stop just to, to build up against and make sure I get it square. And uh, we'll just do, show you that here right away here. Okay, so this section here because it's uh, the framing so tight, we kind of have to build it in place. So, start out with one one nail there and double check your measurements. And once that's in place, then you can sink your hole. it's too tight to actually uh, nail the frame once uh, we, we, we built the frame, we're going to build the, build the frame in place for, for this particular piece. just to build that up a bit more. And then you just build up the layers. Once you've uh, got the layer or the piece in place, and then you can just simply knock your knock your block out. Okay, for our very last piece of framing, we need to actually do a suspension. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to actually uh, take take a we're going to build a box here, and then, and then we're going to take a couple of uh, of uh, pieces of wood, and we're actually going to mark it out and we're going to cut notches in here and then that hangs on the inside here to suspend the the, uh, the piece when we're finished.
take that off of the chisel. And these are just going to fit in like that and then, and then they'll hang, nail in above and suspend.